Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Behind me are my two Harleys, both 2014s, both with ABS. They were due for a full brake fluid flush. However, because they have ABS, they have the hydraulic control unit and there is brake fluid trapped in those units which will not come out when you do a regular brake flush. Harley's remedy is to take it to the dealership and have them use the digital technician tool whereby they actuate the HCU and uh, flush the fluid out of it and then you do another brake flush. So I've heard the cost of that process can range from two to three hundred bucks per bike and so that's going to add up really quick and because you have to do it every two years that is really getting pricey. So I decided to try something different. I'm going to show you in this video the ITM, IT Mercenaries HD2 tool, which is something you can use to actuate the HCU on a bike right in your own garage without having to go to the dealership. And the way that unit is priced, it will pay for itself the first time you use it. So let me show you what comes with it. The ITM HD2 comes with a refurbed Android tablet. Um, it's about seven, eight inches. This is the module that connects to the bike, the ABS interface. It connects using the standard six pin connector on my bikes and they do make I think at least one other one uh, for a different connector. Comes with a USB cable to charge the tablet. And of course, instructions. You'll have a username and password specific to your unit, and you do need to have a Wi Fi connection while you're using it. I believe it kind of phones home and connects to the server to make sure you're a valid user. Uh, but it's not a subscription. You buy it and that's it. So you connect the unit to the bike and then the tablet communicates via Bluetooth. Nice little package and what I'm going to do in this video is do the front on my street glide. So my brake fluid is two years old. You can see it has a little bit of a gold color to it. Um, I have one of these testers I got from Amazon. Anything over 2% is considered bad. And since brake fluid is hygroscopic, it absorbs moisture. And that is right off the chart there. Pretty surprising for just two years. So yeah, definitely time to change this. Both front brake calipers have been flushed out. And we've got clear fluid all the way through. So it's time to do the HCU actuation. I'm over on the left side of the bike. I've taken off the side cover. I am going to connect this in. Nice positive snap. Just sit that puppy there. First I'm going to put the ignition switch in the on position and flick the run switch on. That's going to get the Bluetooth module that is plugged into the bike powered up. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to power up the tablet. Opening up the tablet, going to open the ITM app. And I'm going to hit bleed brakes and it will take about 30 seconds or so to initialize. The process is different using the HD2 than in the video shown by ITM, which is for the HD1. All right, now I'm gonna put in my username and password. Login is successful. Hit OK. Bleed touring model. Bleed front. I have done all these steps. I'm going to 
Squeeze the front lever and hold it and hit continue. All right, I'm gonna release it. It's, it's back to normal. I'm gonna hit continue and I'm going to pump the front lever and it should start actuating soon. There's about a 15 to 18 second delay. All right, and I believe it's going to do that a couple more times. At least that's what it did on the rear, so I'm just gonna be patient. two. I think there may be one more coming. All right, and I believe that is it. And now I just need to flush the brake fluid again, and we're done. Well, the project is done. Both bikes have had a full brake flush of all the calipers. The HCU was actuated for both front and rear, and then they got another full brake flush. So I am done for two years. It was very easy using the ITM HD2. I highly recommend it.